formaldehyde operation single phase transformer has hysteresis losses 200 and eddy current losses 100 its core loss at 60 heads if they not mentioned anything just we need to consider v by f constant when the v by f constant when the v by f constant a f is the hysteresis losses b f square is the eddy current losses at 50 hedges a into 50 is equals to 200 so a is equals to a is equals to 4 b into 50 square b into 50 square is equals to 100 so b is equals to 1 by 25 this is simply what about a f plus b f square for 50 hedges now they need a core losses at 60 hedges core losses at 60 hedges where frequency is equals to 60 hedges now the hysteresis losses is equals to what is the formula a f what is a a is a 4 f is a 60 so this is 240 watts hysteresis losses are 240 watts ad current losses formula b f square what is b 1 by 25 f square 60 of 60 60 of 60 5 twelves are 5 fives are 5 ones are 5 twelves are 12 twelves are 144 watts this is hysteresis and eddy current losses they need core losses core losses nothing but combination of these two so the answer is 384 watts is your answer 384 watts is your answer so see here is your answer 384 watts so like a questions they will try to ask you in easy way for easy analysis let's see this question a single phase 400 volts 50 hertz transformer has iron loss of uh, iron loss of 500 watts the given iron losses of 500 watts at rated condition when voltage and frequencies are halved when voltage and frequencies are halved v by f ratio constant see 400 k m is a 200 50 h just k m is a 25 h so here when the voltage and frequencies are 400 volts 50 h 400 volts 50 h its iron losses are it should be 5000 amma it should be 5000 not 500 when voltage and frequencies are reduced ultimately its iron losses also reduces up to 2000 watts like this this should be 5000 watts not 500 watts when operated at 416 volts 52 h in all those cases the v by f ratio constant this is v by f 8 this is v by f 8 this is also v by f 8 50 8 is a 400 2 8 is a 16 so v by f constant now hysteresis at 416 volts 52 hedges the value of hysteresis losses divided by eddy current losses they need this one hysteresis losses divided by eddy current losses wow, what a question right so first we need to calculate hysteresis losses then after eddy current losses we need to uh, we need to do that so simple first of all first of all for this what is the what is the value a f a f plus b f square a f plus b f square is equals to 5000 and in next one again a f plus b f square a f plus b f square is equals to 2000 if you multiply this by 2 this is 4000 a into 50 will come plus b into 1250 will come so just neglect the second one i taken multiplied by 2 for this now tell me what happened sir so 4000 5000 minus 4000 is a 5000 minus 4000 is a 1000 1000 is equals to a gets cancelled so b into 1250 b into 1250 25 fives are 25 fours are so b is equals to 4 by 5 you will get 4 by 5 b is equals to 4 by 5 substitute this one here so 5000 is equals to 
a into 50 plus b into what is b 4 by 5 into 2500 5 ones are 5 fives are so this is 2000 so a into 50 is equals to 2000 5000 minus 2000 is a 3000 so the answer is a is equals to 60 5 ones are 5 sixties are a is equals to 60 b is equal to 4 by 5 now what they are asking what they are asking hysteresis losses to the eddy current losses hysteresis losses is af eddy current losses is b f square eddy current losses is b f square at 52 edges so a what is a a is a 60 and f is a 52 divided by b what is b 4 by 5 into 52 square 52 square so once 52 over 52 cancelled so 4 ones are 4 twelves are this 5 will come here so the answer is 5 into 12 by 52 5 into 12 by 52 4 threes are 4 ones are 4 threes are 4 ones are 4 threes are so the answer is 15 by 13 15 by 13 the answer is 1 point 1 point s yes, can you tell me what is the value 1 point how much sir 1 point 1 so 27 7 6 around 6 1.16 like that whatever the calculated value you will give that so like that don't don't try to calculate hysteresis losses and eddy current losses and substitute here no need of that simply a f plus b f square f is a 52 hedge you can calculate easily you can calculate easily like that you need to do the answers so this is simply what about the hysteresis and eddy current losses based on that and next question next question let's see a 5 kva single phase 50 hz transformer has 50 watts iron losses 50 watts iron losses and 150 watts full load copper losses 150 watts full load copper losses its efficiency at a full load 0.8 power factor lagging efficiency is equals to kva kva is a 5000 kva into power factor by kva into power factor kva into power factor plus iron losses plus full load that's why full load copper losses so the answer is 4000 yes or no guys 5 8s are 40 point is there 4000 upon 4200 4200 so the efficiency 4 tens are sorry 2 twos are 2 21s are so the answer is 20 by 21 what is the answer 20 by 21 nothing but how much the efficiency how much 0 0.9 0 0.9 actually 0 point when you put 0 point this will be 200 9 is 189 189 nothing but 11 is there point 0 is there 5 is 5 is 25 5 is 105 again 5 will be there point and 2 is so 0 0.952 so approximately they asked 95 percent is your answer a simple question this is also a simple question and the next question let's see this question let's see a single phase transformer has no load loss of 64 watts no load loss nothing but no load loss nothing but iron losses iron losses of 64 watts as confirmed from the open circuit test open circuit test when the short circuit test is performed with the 90 percent of rated current they given at 90% of rated current nothing but 90% of load at 90% of load they given the copper losses what are the copper losses at 90% of load 81 watts they given 81 watts the rated current LVHVHV measuring loss is 81 watts that is nothing but a at 90% of load so what we know that 90% of load copper losses 90% of load copper losses is equals to 90% square into full load copper losses. Let's try to calculate full load copper losses. So, this value we know already 81. 
AIT1 is equals to AIT1 by 100 into full load copper losses. So, AIT1, AIT1 cancelled. So, full load copper losses is equals to 100 watts. Full load copper losses equals to 100 watts. And iron losses is equals to 64 watts. Okay, now, now the transformer should exhibit maximum efficiency at maximum efficiency at square root of iron losses by full load copper losses what are the iron losses they given 64 watts what are the full load copper losses we calculated 100 watts don't try to take 81 that will gives you wrong answer so root 64 is a 8 root 100 is a 10 so the answer is 80 percent the answer is at 80 percent of load you will get the maximum efficiency this is also a uh, very good question actually for competitive exams very important like a questions so like a questions are very important for us still more few more problems on numericals numericals on like a losses and efficiency let's see few more questions on losses and efficiency in a single phase sorry in a 50 kva single phase transformer iron losses they given iron losses how much sir iron losses 500 watts iron losses are 500 watts and full load copper losses are 800 watts they given full load copper losses of 800 watts the efficiency of the transformer at full load 0.8 power factor lagging simply they are asking efficiency efficiency is equals to kva 50000 into power factor 0.8 upon kva into power factor plus iron losses iron losses plus copper losses so what is the answer sir this is 40000 right 40000 by 40000 plus 1300 so 40000 or 41300 so you need to calculate this 400 by 413 by calculations you have to give the answer so 400 by 413 for example 0 point when you put 0 point it will be a 4000 so what about 4000 4000 9s are 413 9s are 413 9s are 413 9s are what is the answer what is the answer 3717 3717 almost 300 but 17 that's why 283 when point is there when point is there here 2830 2830 almost 6 or 7 times so 6 times around 6 times your answer is 96.85 simple sir of course this is very calculated but you can give the answer just by calculating two decimals enough next question let's see this question what they given sir the full load voltage drop due to resistance and leakage reactance in a single phase transformers are two percent and four percent simply they given percentage resistive drop and percentage reactance drop this is 2% and this is 4%. Nothing but this is 0 0.02. 0 0.02. Okay. The full load copper loss is equals to iron loss. At full load, copper losses equals to iron losses. Okay. The efficiency of the transformer at off load and unity power factor. Off load and unity power factor. 1 into or 1 per unit into power factor by 1 per unit into 1 per unit into power factor plus iron losses in per unit plus copper losses in per unit copper losses in per unit actually this is efficiency formula but here they are asking the efficiency at off load that's why 0 0.5 0 0.5 into power factor is the 1 0 0.5 into power factor is the 1 because of unity power factor and iron losses what are the iron losses there is no iron losses right 
in generally the iron losses is equals to do you know we don't know but we know the copper losses the copper losses is equals to per unit resistance copper losses is equals to the per unit copper losses is equals to per unit resistance so the full load copper losses are equal to iron losses they given so the per unit resistance is nothing but the iron losses but here we are calculating the efficiency at off load iron losses are same 0.02 but the copper losses are at full load copper losses are 0.02 but i am calculating it off load so the copper losses are 0.02 by 4 off load copper losses off load copper losses so how we can calculate sir 0 0.5 upon 0 0.5 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.0005 0 0.005 so what is the answer 0 0.5 by 0. 0 0.0.525 0 0.525 so how we can calculate this almost 500 by 525 500 by 525 what is the answer this is what 52 za 52 za 52 za 51 za so the answer is 20 upon 21 20 upon 21 we previously calculated this value how much you will get 20 upon 21 yes can you tell me 20 upon 21 0 point 0 point nothing but 200 where we calculated already this one 20 upon 21 we calculated previously i think here yes yes here we calculated 20 upon 21 value 0 0.952 so almost 95 percent is your answer almost 95 percent is is your answer you will get 0 0.95 something so which is correct answer option a will be your answer so like a few points you need to remember don't waste your time in your exam sometimes if you got efficiency calculations whatever it may be you got 20 by 21 so you have to give the answer within seconds already you practiced you need to remember those points Yes or no guys? Uh, for example, if you don't have any idea about 20 by 20, uh, 21, you need to try to calculate that. It takes around uh, 30 seconds at least. The 30 seconds is waste of time, right? If you know, if you already remembered 20 by 21, nothing but 0 0.95, the 30 seconds is saved. You can use that 30 seconds to uh, other difficult problem.